Hey everyone, uh, you did click on the right video. Episode 16 of the Minecraft trailer series will begin shortly, but before it does, I just wanted to take a moment to share something that's been weighing heavy on my heart lately. At the time of recording this video, the city of Gaza has been under siege by the state of Israel for 80 something days now. Currently over 20,000 Palestinians have been killed during this occupation, at least 8,000 of that number being children. And that's not even including the over 50,000 injured or missing people. The UN reports state that 1.9 million Gazans have been internally displaced, forced to seek shelter away from the relentless bombing. These numbers are beyond tragic and every single day I wake up I hope and pray that someone with power would do something, would demand a ceasefire, but that doesn't happen, which is insane. I know this is a Minecraft channel and I'm just a goofy YouTuber and saying this you know, doesn't really change what's happening in Gaza, but as much as I want to inspire you guys to be creative and have fun with my videos, I also want to encourage you all to be better people. To love and care for one another, to go to school, to work, even to like family stuff. And when you see someone that looks different to you, who talks different, who lives in a way that you don't understand, you don't see them as strange and weird, but instead you greet them with openness and kindness. I'm also not here to ask for your money. I will be donating all revenue from my YouTube channel for the next month to UNICEF. My friends and I back home have been organizing concerts and fundraisers to help with uh, help raise funds, which is partly why I haven't been uploading. If you have the capacity to donate, I encourage you to do what you can. Uh, but for all of you watching this, I just put it out to you and ask, what can you do? For Palestinians, Israelis, really anyone afflicted by this, donating obviously helps. Learning about and sharing the stories coming out of the city helps raise awareness. A lot of people will be fleeing to other countries to take refuge. It may be their first time in another country, so try and welcome them with open arms. Take care, look after one another, and hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so uh, I wrote a poem that I'm going to read to you. It's called, Where Are Where Is Lower Is Bones. <laughs> enjoy. As the sun comes up and the birds sing their song, I can't help but think something is wrong. Jobs need doing, adventures abound, but Laura's bones is nowhere to be found. He's not with the dogs, he's not with the bees, he's not mining copper, and he's not chopping trees. Nowhere in sight, his whereabouts unknown, where or oh where, is Laura's bone. I, I couldn't figure out how to rhyme with bones. We've searched near and we've searched far, we've searched high and we've searched low. That means that there's only one place he could go. An open portal at the base of the tree. On the other side, it's hot and fiery. It's the best I could do, guys. I'm, I'm not a pot. I'm not a pot. Beyond treacherous lands, through the nether horde, we found our boy with a diamond sword, swinging for his life that he might go home. There, oh there, is Lora's bone. <laughs> Oh my gosh, why can't I hit you? What? I'm trying to hit him. Kill zone. Oh. Yes. <gasps> we got one. We got one. I needed three of these skills. Three of them. So I could fulfill the task of inflicting sheer terror upon myself by summoning the most destructive mob known to Steve in the game, the Wither. I don't want to hit the pig. Go away, pig. Come on. Nothing. Oh, actually, that's, oh my goodness, there's actually three. I can leave, <laughs> I can get out of here. The wither equals beacon, right? I have some big projects coming up and having a beacon around would just make it so much easier. So that was the plan. But before I go trying to fight any withers, I need some, I need better stuff. I need to be better equipped for this battle. All right, I need some potions. Strong boy needs strong potions. I make blaze powder, I think. Here we go. Blaze powder, make me stronger. With my potions now cooking, I decided I wanted a nice brand new bow, but uh, I needed to get my levels up before I could enchant it. My carrots. Stop trying to eat my carrots. Alright, here we go. What are we gonna get? Power three. All right, come on. Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't worry about the bow. I'll try again later. But right now, what I really need is some better armor. The, the diamond's been great so far, but if I'm gonna fight the weather, I wanna try. I wanna get some of that netherite. So I took a trip down to my netherite mines, blasted out a couple dozen beds. 
Oh, okay, that's right. Uh, I need to add a smithing template. I forgot they added this to the game. Should get some gold boots. <laughs> I need a little bit more life. Are these ones okay? These ones are good. Looks like they've got enchantments. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm taking these ones. Going, going out, out into the wild. I think if I remember correctly, netherite upgrade templates are found in Piglin Bastions. So that, that's where I'm going. Ah. <laughs> Let's just try and make it there in one piece first though. Oh, is that it? That might be it. That, if that's it, that looks terrifying. I think this is the front door. I'm gonna go in. I, I kind of have to be sneaky because it doesn't matter that I'm wearing gold. They don't want me here. They don't like me. Oh no. Ah, yeah. Yes, my bow is so... Okay, it takes three hits. This bow is pretty good. Okay, I think... Oh. Okay, here we go. If I lock myself in... <laughs> they can't get me. There it is. That is what we want. Oh my gosh. He can't get me. <laughs> I rule this bastion now. It's mine. Everything here is mine. A double chest. We go under the chest. Look at this. <laughs> what a hole. This is crazy. At some point, I got comfortable. And when you get comfortable, you get reckless. And when you get reckless, you end up doing things that you just, you probably shouldn't. Boosh, you guys are stuck ass in there. Oh no! Oh no! Aha! I gotta go! Flee! <laughs> Everyone is after me. Everyone hates me. Oh my gosh. Everybody hates me. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you put your sword away when you're deep inside the Piglin Bastion. Thankfully, the moment immediately after I swung my sword, I anticipated that I was probably going to end up in lava or on, or on fire or something like that, and I remembered that I had in my inventory a fire resistance potion, so I was able to switch that quickly, drink it, and uh, come out alive somehow. Everything is fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. And of course, we go straight back in. One little near-death experience, it's not, a, it's not enough to scare me away. Uh, and of course, there's more treasure to get as well. So I went in there, I opened those chests, I panicked, I was sweating, I got the stuff, and then I got out as fast as I could. I can't see a thing, I'm getting scared. Oh my gosh, they're running after me. They know that I took their treasure. <sighs> Looking here, helmets. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool. This was made for me. This netherite armor is so expensive. Getting home after almost paying with my life, I then had to pay again with almost all of my diamonds. It's seven diamonds per item. So that's 28 diamonds for my, just, just my armor. But you know, I'm, I'm willing to pay. I think the armor looks pretty good. It looks insanely good. <laughs> I love this, it's amazing. So I guess now that I'm all get up, no more excuses, right? It's time to go fight that wither. So I grabbed the stuff, the soul sand and my uh, wither skulls that I put in my belly pool's chest. Even got a bucket of milk just in case. I grabbed my strength potions in a boat and sailed off to somewhere that was distant and remote, away from all of my, my buildings, all my valuable things, somewhere where everything won't get destroyed by the wither, AKA the witherlands. Let's do this, finally. All right, everybody, you're gonna wanna get out of here. It's gonna suck for like the next 10 minutes. First hit. Oh my goodness. They just going for me. They just going for me. I'm doing damage though. Oh, I'm doing some good damage. I'm withering. Give me an apple. I'm hungry. Here we go. Dang. This is intense. Uh, this is so intense. Oh. 
This is so intense. The damage. The damage. I'm so glad this isn't my house. Goodness me. Goodness me. Give me another apple. <laughs> I've, I've done like a quarter. A quarter of half. What if I switch to my sword? I, can, I can't reach him with... Oh, he's digging me in a hole. This is not good. This is not good. I need to get out of the hole. Oh. Okay. The bow is definitely the move. Got some good hits. Oh, yeah. We're down to half, half health. On him, not me. Oh my gosh. Oh man. I'm so glad for this regeneration. Oh, he's right behind me. Oh, he is. We switched to the sword. This is crazy. His health is drop. Look, this sword is crazy. There we go. We did it. Oh my gosh. That was intense. Oh, I got a rose out of it too. Wait, it's on the ground. Did he plant a rose? How did, I didn't even know how they were. <laughs> there we go. The nether star. I beat the wither. I came, I conquered, and now that nether star is mine. So the next step is to make that into a beacon. Simple enough, but what they don't tell you is that you need like 3 million ore blocks. It's, okay. it's not 3 million, but it's a lot. It's like a couple stacks or something. Look at me. Do I look like the kind of guy that's got a couple stacks of ore blocks lying around? No, I'm broke. <laughs> we got a couple options here. We could do emeralds, or we could do gold, but I'm thinking I'd do iron. Maybe I make an, an iron farm, and so not only do I get a beacon, but I get an iron farm that lasts me the rest of my life. As we all know, iron farms need villages, and that meant that I had to move some. Normally, that's that's a, that's a horrible job. Everyone hates moving villages. But thankfully, I had my railroad set up, and that just made things so much easier. Right. Oh, there he goes. I don't think this villager has been on a roller coaster ride like this before. Here we go. Oh, the lovers. Instantly, all the villagers were making a baby. I was out hunting for zombies. Yes! Zombie! Hey -ya. Yes! It was going pretty well until I forgot that I had thorns on my armor. Ow. Oh, I accidentally killed him. But after a few tries, I managed to capture one. And in, yes, W. Of course, he didn't go down without a fight. Oh my gosh, no! This time, with caution, all right? You gotta be very careful this time. <laughs> My villagers are sleeping. Oh, look at them. They're so happy, They're having beautiful, sweet dreams. So now with all the technical stuff out of the way, it was finally time to build. Obviously, before getting started, we gotta, we gotta clean up this mess. But once that's out of the way, I started with a simple little house at the bottom that would be the entrance to the farm. You see, the design I had for this farm was that it was going to be a house on top of a giant stone pillar kind of thing. So to get up and down, I next added a bubble elevator and dropper tube. From there, I started to add in the stone structure, slowly working my way up to the top of the elevator where the main house was going to sit. Building this thing out was very sketchy at times. That crouch button was getting some, some serious action. With my fancy feather falling boots, I, I might have survived the fall, but I wasn't about to test that theory. It's such a good feeling to just step back after completing a project and just looking at it, soaking it all in and just thinking, yeah, I did that. The build is pretty much done. It is more or less done, minus a couple things, technical things just to get the farm working. So we're gonna take out our favorite horse, Moonlight. An accidental trick there, lucky, lucky horse. But yeah, we're gonna run over, get it working. This thing's really cool, it's really tall. I think it may even be taller than the mega tree. We'll see once we get up there. But this is it. Let's park up our, our favorite horse right here. So yeah, the farm works that the, the iron golems spawn at the top and then they fall down this, this hole right here into this fiery pit, bowl, pot, whatever. Um, so we just got to top it up with lava. I've almost finished setting it up. So let's just uh, get rid of these last couple pieces here. Um, I couldn't just put in like a couple buckets and let the lava flow. It has to be all source blocks. Which is, uh, hopefully that's something that I can be known for, is like filling things in and doing it properly, you know, wink. Hello, Mr. Horse. Anyway, so once you arrive, you step inside. Uh, just a very simple little room. 
Uh, and then another very simple room here is our up and our down shoot. So let's take a step in. Hold your breath. Take a deep breath as you go up here. It's quite a long ride to the top. But we get up here. And so just a simple room. Nothing sort of crazy going on. We've got a couple uh, decorations. Um, and again, some reminders. Which way is up and which way is down. Everything is nicely spawn proofed. And if we go through here, we can look down at our victim. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, this is where the golems are going to spawn and little do they know this is the first and last they're going to see of this world. Um, so actually, yep, let's break the ice, let the water flow. Oh my goodness, let me out, let me, oh my gosh, this is not at all what I wanted to happen today. <laughs> oh, he's not happy, he's not happy. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Golem. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck in here. I can't get out. He's just trying to get me. Okay. Uh, can I make a run for it? Oh, I just made it out in time. All the ice is broken and the golem fell down. I can see him burning. And that is iron. So yeah, this is, it seems to be working. Hopefully uh, we get more of those com guys coming down. Um, up on the next level, we have just more rooms. It's really just decorative stuff. Got the special wither rose from uh, beating the wither. And then we have like a lovely little living area, some some seating, some bookshelves, and then up the top, I, I gave myself a little room because maybe I want to come and hang out uh, and sleep up here. Um, and then we got this great view. This is like one of the best views in my entire world. I can see everything from up here. I love seeing all the wo roads, the roads winding, <laughs> the roads winding around. Um, we can see the train tracks going everywhere. Um, and all the builds. It looks so cool from up here. I love building uh, viewpoints in my world and sort of just taking it all in and just seeing the progress that you've made. Um, but yeah, that's the farm. Let's go down and check that it's working. Can you hear that? <laughs> that? That was an iron golem. The farm's working. Iron golems are dropping into the fire pit. And now all that's left to do is just to wait. This farm isn't super fast, but it's more than enough for everything that I'll be needing it for. And right now, I need it to make a full beacon. After hunting for skulls, fighting a wither, and building this giant farm, I was able to collect all the resources I needed to build my first ever beacon, which is going to come in super handy for the next big project. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again very soon.